Alrighty, what is going on everybody? We are back again with a POI analysis. This time we leave her beach. I'm gonna try to get uh every day throughout this week. I'm gonna try to do a different POI. Um I'm not doing bony because I'm landing there and you guys know uh my strat for bony. But maybe that's a little cheap, but I make the videos. <laughs> um but yeah, let me know what, what you guys want. I was thinking we do Believer, Pleasant, Craggy, uh, Retail, and Lazy because they'll give me the most views. But if you guys want something different, then uh, let me know. Anyway, Sweaty, or Sweaty, Believer has a shit ton of chest. We have, uh, what is this? 12, 32, 35, 36. 36 chest in Believer. Plus there's two supply chest here that are shown on Fortnite.gg. So there's two here, which includes uh, a fast car or a CIA car, whatever you want to call it. I'm not from it, so call it a fast car. Other than that, we have a vending machines. We have a weapon automatic over here that can have a blue pump or like any weapon. Then a mending over here that can have a big or mini upgrade benches. Doesn't really matter because gold. Get, nah, you might get enough upgrade, but I mean 400 gold. Yeah, unless you find safes. So let's where safes at. I should be. All right, well, there they are. So there are a lot of safes in here. So if you do end up finding one to two safes, then you could, I guess, like kind of upgrade because there is a fuck ton of in Believer. And I'll show uh, after all of this, I'll show the gold breakdown at the very end where I'm going to go in game and actually break all the gold in here. And hopefully I can do that in Battle Lab or I'm going to or some shit like that or something. I don't know. But back up here, uh, there's no alien eggs, off-road tires. Just remember where some of them are. A lot of them are going to be over here in gas station and basketball court. For cars, these are the car spawns, or really, you know, Ferraris. I uh, only can hold two, but I mean, you get two of them, you're good. For sedans, a lot of them spawn everywhere. But remember, you do have a hundred percent car over here, which is this fast car. Zip lines don't matter. Campfires, uh, mainly on the beach. Slurp barrels. Now there are enough slurp barrels, barrel, barrels here for everybody, but uh, they are kind of spread out. So if you would want to, you'd have to land your. You'd have to do something where you do one, two, three, and even then, I mean, this barrel is a little risky, so you can at least get everyone to 190 for free and then decide what you would do because you can hit all these together. So, what if you did something like you land all three here, you hit this barrel, that you guys all loot this together, all loot this together, and then you move onwards? It would probably be pretty, sh pretty shambles, but uh, and I mean, if you triple stacked here, this the other team could do something like this, and then you're you're fucked. Where to recognize that so there are slurp barrels i mean if you at least split it down the middle you get what seven five you get nine of them at the very least five if you just split down here noms two noms in the gas station spawns we have none of this fishing holes ice box ice boxes all the fishing holes are mainly far out by coral down this river but you have a few fishing holes down here at the end of the dock a lot of ice box ice boxes over here you can probably get like you know four floppers, two slurp fish, uh, whatever you some spicy fish maybe. Fish out of ice boxes. Does anyone know that? I don't even know if you can do that. But if you can, then you can get it. If not, then I guess you can't. Saves we already talked about, and then NPCs. I don't know if this guy gives anything. I have no idea about Joey, but I know Sunny over here uh, has the chance to give uh, I think five blue pumps, three purple spazzes. I'll be good and one gold spaz. so this is for 50 gold this is for what is it 100 gold and this is for 250 so if you get the gold spaz you give it to your fragger if you get the purple you just farm beds and uh laundry thins and i'll show all the gold breakdown afterwards after i you know go into the game and figure it all out and if you get blue pumps and then everyone gets a blue pump so but I mean, all three blue all three purple one gold and you can check the weapon vendor machine which is over here i think as well see if there's any blue there so that's pretty fucking huge you know lever team is scary if i mean we land bony and we try to make sure we're out in time before the believer team starts rolling through because it's not fun fighting you know three purple spazzes when you have a green tack a gray tack and a blue and great green pump you know it's very very not fun at all and you know usually these teams are uh you know psycho teams w key or stuff like that they go believer so let's talk about believer now 
before we start breaking down the chest and everything like, like the where to land and stuff like that people that usually land at believer are high risk high reward you win believer you probably end up leaving with two to three team wipe kills so you'll have what is that six six to nine kills something like that depending on how hard it is very least you have one team wipe kill um and especially where zone pulls might be able to go over here and look for some surge on the coral teams or come over here to castle and look for some surge this would be a psycho push but definitely a thin if you guys all got purple spazzes quick push back into here that could be a possibility the most common one is you just go down into bony and you either push the bony team or you push the teams that are pushing into bony and you guys have a big old fight down here but usually the teams that land here are good at fighting uh they want the spaz they don't care if they die they're just fighting to win the poi get the spaz and go key people so they're psychos so if you're a psycho perfect poi for you now what i've seen the breakdown is that no one has been going dock really in pros grims because probably because the launch pads can make you easily get ganked or your team can arrive before yeah so these side can gank you before this team does or before your team like gives you back if you know what i mean so from what i've been seeing is that it's been a split something like this we have one guy over here one here and one here and on the other side we do we have something where it's like one two and three so we kind of have you know the same little setup here that's an awful two where we have two in the back in case you know if one gets pushed and two can support and three can back and it's the same on the other side so really what this would come down to is three and one like i need a circle in between the two whatever one two three and two over here we have one two three just looking at this we can see that this side over here definitely has the advantage um while the yellow side has more chest to work with they're farther away so this guy if if he gets trash loot here he has to pull back and hit rvs and then, then that will leave one to himself. If, you, if you're landing yellow and your player here has to dip back and he goes guys i'm dipping back your three either has to cross this and hopefully he doesn't get sniped or beamed and take the position two is for one retreats or three comes and supports as well because if you have somebody let's say the guy that lands motel he loots all of it and he comes straight back up to the top and he comes okay one's going to rv so two might try to sneak up here then we can have a pinch here on one where two might be looting this and have too far of a distance here to come help then it'll be a 2v3 the whole point is to find try to wait and find a way in their plan in their movements to split one off and then use that to your advantage so what can yellow do let's say yellow does get good loot what they could do is to send three around over here to support two and three and two can push the number two over here so let's do let's do this in yellow so let's three comes over here and supports two and they push together and what this does is make a 2v1 over here while one tries his best to hold these guys on their two buildings so he can either a base up over here or he can move to where two is and spray them as they try to make their way across if he cracks one or both of them then he can calm that and say okay his teammates are going to be there in a few seconds try to kill him quick if you can't play safe and wait for me to come from a different angle so that's what they could do now they all base back up um you know some teams they do something okay this guy hits this he grabs a car at the back and he dips over here and they all kind of group up and go to pool health over here and they're trying to see if there's you know purple spaz or blue pump or what type of shotguns over here if they can get this then they they're going to want a key because the good chances are you have something green or blue while they might have a chance to have something purple or blue really is, is purple or blue and if they have gold they might have one person with a gold pump but the then the Weapon machines down here too, so if that has a blue pump, then they all have blue at the very least. Fuck. So what do you do? Let's say again, yellow. You can try to isolate number two down here with two in like this, and one stays on his position here, holding these guys. Um, if they start making a move down here, if black starts making moves to go to the spaz, you can send one over here. Three follows, and you guys can hold the dock here shoot at them while two either loops all the way around and gets like some type of like crazy angle like this and then the idea would be say in this scenario 
we have one here we have three here and two is looping around over here then we have these guys they're basically bunkered down over here getting sprayed and if they're not paying attention to where you know two is he might be able to get a snipe he might be able to get a crack and if he gets a knock then these guys push in and then you guys get pinched and end up dying that's why you have to be careful on where everyone is um now let's say what could these guys do one two three so let's say they go okay we should try, try to start working our way back two goes over here one grabs a card dips out like this three is the last one to go because he's he's making sure everyone is you know everyone gets to where they're supposed to be because he's the highest up up there so we have two and one over here and they're heading towards here and he's common okay there's there's one guy over here he's trying to stink up he doesn't know i'm on top and the other two are over here spraying so what this does because they leave three behind is that if they can find a car so let's say two brought a car over from this house all three of them can full send this guy hard and then it's a 1v3 over here and then it, these guys will take too long to survive hopefully this guy doesn't dk for his life and you guys end up winning the fight now what if you guys just don't end up fighting at all we have one two three but you guys should be able to secure this part you can maybe not the dock at the very least something like this and you have control of the npc and the weapon vending and then they get the rest here which isn't that bad for them because they have metal and everything like that but you guys get the spaz so i'd say if this does end up happening you do want to push this team because they are split in your poi or if you're if you just comment you don't want to fight and go hit spire um and go either here and go push into pleasant so it would be loot all this go to spire go up push pleasant go down the road uh push bony pick out slurp something like that all right let's say we're conned by a lot of teams so let's say let's just say three teams so we have your team you guys should always try to in my opinion get hotel because if you own hotel then you own pretty much a clear vision on most of believer which gives you a lot of information that you can then use to split someone out or something like that so always try to get um motel if you can so let's say we have one here uh two and three i think this is probably the best split in my opinion is you pretty much have control over this baz over here uh, and they do yellow does the same thing one two three like that and then blue does something where it's like one two three this is the setup right now um this guy this team has way less loot they're probably going to try to loot the beach side over here and what might end up happening is yellow might see that and be like okay well we have to stop that and then you third party after you guys hit the spaz get your gold and then you guys third party and clean up both teams let's say that doesn't happen and blue just chill they all they all just chill around this area and wait for you two to fight so you end up fighting in one of the ways we described earlier then we hear blue you know we either see them if you guys keep one guy in here go in to try to see what a spaz is over here if you guys haven't hit it then you have to be careful because these guys might all have blue pumps purple pumps and if you end this fight quick then you might be able to come back and catch these guys off while they're all rotated and split up but it's really in my opinion is you want to be the team that third parties this fight goes into it you are forced to fight yellow so if they full send to here and you guys have to support you guys one of you guys want to be consciously thinking there's another team here that could be set up be careful you know try to have the fight behind the house over here so it is takes a way longer distance for them to come end the fight quick and then there should be someone should have an internal timer if we think it in their mind we should box up now blue the other team should be here the other team should be here. so let's say you're on con quickest way to loot well you're gonna want gold so that's gonna affect the loot path so i don't know any of the really the gold strats right now so right after I record this, I'm going to go into Battle Lab and hope, hope God, I can find all the gold in here and the numbers won't inf be inflated because I'm in Battle Lab. But it might be. If it is, then I don't know. I'll have to go to like a solo pub and win Believer. Hopefully no one rotates in. But uh, I'm going to try to best find all the gold or most of the gold or something like that because there's obviously a fuck ton of gold in here. But if you're unconned, you probably want to utilize the slurp barrels 100% because you can save a lot of shield here. You might want to, you know, uh, turn on the cars, and we have the CIA car over here. So we send one here, uh, one here, and one here. 
this guy can grab the fast car if he loots this picks up two goes down here you guys hit the slurp barrels together and then you guys go up, go up to the spaz get the spaz fish if you want and do something like this and hit all that and be out if you don't want to use the slurp barrels and you know everyone can just use their own own barrels then fine because there should be plenty of loot here for everybody there's a fuck ton of chest so you really don't need to utilize the slurp barrels as much as other places like slurpy and craggy do but um you could or like shark for example like they need to utilize their barrels but it doesn't matter as much here so it, let's say you do do something like uh we have one here uh through two over here and then the third is like here ideally you want to finish up by here so you guys can all get your spazzes together or one can hit uh the spot here and he goes okay i'm gonna hit dock and he comes gold spaz so he's gonna get enough gold buy gold spaz give it to whoever the fragger is Three can start looting like this, and they can do something like that. Where you guys all kind of end on the way out like this. You guys can find your own loot paths, but kind of the general idea of Believer. Now this can be a quicker POI analysis than my other ones because I'm trying to make them quicker and not uh, a century long. Let's talk about who can rotate into Believer. Well, uh, Coral most often they loot all of this and they hit the lost airplane and they end up going up like this So they Probably won't come down unless they need the spire loot as well because they might be shambles so If you see, you know, let's say we see three teams in coral There's a good chance that one of them might come down and hit the spire loot So be you know cautious or conscious of that. Yep. There's the word we have castle radar over here this is a push if they get god loot they might psycho into believer but that is definitely psycho for them the people that land up here usually they alpha up this spot and then they play strictly for end game but if they do have really good loot they can get the fast car radar station or the uh, launch pad and push into believer that is an option we have this one i'd say this one is a lot more common than if coral pushes in bony i mean bony could push into believer but that'd be I've never done it in my life, but let's say that Bony's unconned. They need a W key. They can either go Pleasant, which is the most common one. Because they have to hit Slurp Truck along the way. But if they're just feeling like absolutely, yeah, totally, I want that. If they're feeling absolutely psychotic, they can say, let's go push Believer. If we win Believer, we get Spazzes, then we can key everybody. That might be a thing. Holly, no. I mean, I doubt it unless they get really good shit again. Uh, I have pushed it in solos because I would get a uh, parasite on my head because there is the parasite eggs are in here. I'd get a parasite on my head and if I have a god tack then I'm 100% pushing into believer because I'm such an annoying shit when I have the parasite on my head with the god tack. And I just want to clean this up, see if there's a gold spaz or something I can take. But really you're pretty much good on people that can push to believer. Pretty, pretty much not a lot of people. Uh, we have up here... I'd say this, i say you're most worried is about Castle Radar, so this would probably be number one. Um, I don't even, I guess Coral, if it's hot, would be number two. If not, then maybe Bony, two or three, and over here is four. So you're pretty much good, because everyone knows Believer is a W key psycho spot. So if you're pushing into it, you either have to be A, more of a psycho, or B, just, you know, give a throwaway game or something like that. So where can Believer push into? Well... Uh, depending on your loot and if you're fighting you can push backwards into castle radar which would be a weird push because they can just launch pad out but you guys can obviously chase if you want um you can push into holly down here especially if you're able to you know take slurp truck from if there's a team going over here take slurp truck and you find you know they're split doing like two over here and one at holly and the ones coming over you tag him and you kill the rest uh, you could do that you could the common push is down into bony uh, Pleasant would either go up towards like this or they would come down into bony So you might end up having three teams fight in here Then that might alert this team or like the risky middle team might come as well Because bony is in the middle of the map You could end up having a lot of teams fight in here Which could be a bad thing or a good thing if you're the believer team Now you could just say fuck it and go straight down into weeping as well um, Would be a little bit weirder because weeping is the very odd place to fight in because of the trees and everything but if you come down like this you could probably sneak up get onto this house and crack one of them or if you notice that they're going over here get on top of this hill zip line across hopefully you don't get beamed or try to sneak your way on a beam on a three to one you could go backwards too if coral's in zone and you're you know if there's three teams coral and you saw one shark and the bus did something like this and you calmed out you know how many teams were jumping because a lot of teams jump 
right here good chances are it's like a stealthy uh stealthy or shark or lighthouse i mean the pleasant team might jump out there too as well but oh this is like a weird bus so if you you're flying in and whoever's going main or you guys go okay we're unconned and there's three teams coral one team shark so what might happen is that these team will all fight and the shark team my third party and then if you get zoned you can probably go back and third as well now let's talk about surge where are you getting your surge well most times you're going to be conned so your surge is going to become from the fight in believer so you have to get really good at fight in here drop here in arena arena is going to be way probably way harder or hotter than uh fncs and cash cups but uh actually maybe not cash cups but definitely fncs i think but that's good if you can get like eight teams like 30 fucking people come in believer that's good okay that's good practice you guys can win believer consistently in arena uh to try it in scrims and then try it and be prepared for fncs or cash cups so where can you get surge if you're unconned well you can send somebody out over here whoever has the best shot and you can get on one of these hills probably not that one probably this one or even just base up and see if you can get any tags on the coral team uh, i saw a clip of tahi who knocked out uh, i don't know who it was he knocked out somebody out of the air because he was sitting here when he was flying in got an ar off this knocked out the guy out of the air for surge um in my opinion their biggest mistake tahi and them was that they based up here for surge a lot which isn't that good of a place because if we really pay attention that if this is where you base up who's going to come through well the castle team over here is i mean obviously the radar station wasn't here the castle team mostly likely loots like this they end up looting some of this and following either the coral loot path which is something like that or they loot down like this okay what about the bony team well if the bony team needs surge they're just going to sit on top of bony get surge there where's the pleasant team going to be doing down here so spacing up here is a pretty bad spot for basing up for surge just because there's really no one that's going to be coming in that way most of the teams are going to be doing something like this unless zone pulls up and the zone something like this then you might have like the weeping team the holly team will just go down like this but you might have more teams trying to rotate dead side and if you're based up over here then you can probably get surge on them so if you're a believer and you need surge i would try to get on either side of this bridge here or see a bony main is uncon so i'd either check here first okay that's good try to get on one of these mountains either this over here get the cia car or fast car and see if you can get stretch hill too and probably find somewhere along here don't pulls far um i mean the rotate would probably be through weeping something like that try to get onto this mountain over here depending on the surges or try to get on the lazy mountains over here something like that so i think i pretty much covered everything in terms of believer um i think this is going to be probably one of the shortest poi analysis yet 23 minutes hopefully fingers crossed um I don't know what to do next i was planning to do either holly because it's a newer poi slurpy craggy pleasant misty i don't know someone just pick a poi in the comments and the first one you pick i'll do it can't be bony like i said earlier yeah cheers